top of the morning. Gonna cruise in the F80 today for chest and possibly bicep. We'll see how we feel. It's always just going by feel at this point, bro. So we topped off for a morning of four eggs. We got a little coffee. If you guys don't already own an F80, bro, I'd highly recommend getting one. Uh, ideally the competition package, so you got the, you know, we got a silver stone. Pretty dope. Let's go for, let's go for a ride. Okay, so my approach in the gym recently has been kind of more structured in the sense of let's boost the fuck out of our test. You know, it's not about just going in and getting pumps. It's not, it's not the goal here. The goal is to boost free range test, all right? So I wrote out my plan. It's nine days of working out. And I pretty much just take rest as needed. Today we're gonna to be going to our OG gym. If you guys have been watching my tubes for a while, you guys will know right away. I also wanna talk about the coffee I've been whipping up. So it's kind of like structured water of sorts. If you guys know what structured water is, it's pretty much water with butter. So I put at least two to three tablespoons of butter grass fed of course but what that does is it prevents your body from so coffee in itself spikes cortisol and if you slow down the absorption you're not spiking your cortisol is crazy so i've been rocking butter not just for that purpose but also the taste i mean it tastes phenomenal grass-fed butter is a great source of saturated fat You know, if I can't get that shit up on my own, I deserve to fucking drop that shit on my neck, bro. Close call there.
with this push and pull. I think that about captures the poem for the most part. <clears throat> what an ethereal pump today, bro. <sighs> Boys. Hey. hey! Don't call me by my real name. <laughs> Filming a YouTube boys, what y'all gotta say? Yeah. Nah, we didn't really go to Yap. We went to uh we Well bro, what, what what can you guess bro? Come on now. Let me see. Come on now. Come on. Okay, so we uh we made a couple stops at Aldi and Sprouts. We got ourselves some lamb. We got ourselves some ground bison, which is what we got in the bowl right now. We got a pound of ground bison. This is our post chest day. Now moving this animal based diet, I do only two meals after my workout. So I always make sure these meals are really filling, satiating. Of course, I put a bunch of grass fed butter. Uh, we also picked up some more raw milk. I'll show you guys the meals later in the day. Uh, some pasture raised eggs, things of that sort but we're gonna go to town on this ground bison. I haven't had bison in a really while, so I did take a bite and I, I will say it's a very rich, uh, you know, it's a robust taste. So I'm, I'm really appreciative of this big meal I got in front of me. I'm gonna go to town. Bro, so a little modification mid work, uh, mid meal. I added maple syrup, bro. This is what I picked up today. Great things I heard about maple syrup. I used to think that, you know, that shit was just like sugary and shit. But turns out it's really a, one of those carbs that you could get away with on an animal-based diet. To the form is comes in sucrose, so it's different than fructose. But you know, I like diversity type shit. So maple syrup that's going to be our new staple carbohydrate. And bro, it really just brought. Yeah, you know, it's if you like sweet shit like teriyaki, sautéed food and shit. You know, try maple syrup, like, wow, really brings out a lot of flavor. And, you know, I also threw some Celtic salt in here. So between the salt, the maple syrup, the butter, whoo. Okay, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Pound of ground beef, pretty cool, but I need to make a, another few eggs uh, to satiate. Bro, I want you to take a look. Look how we made these, bro. We wrapped some egg whites around it too. So we got two egg yolk few egg whites chefing up in this john we got 120 pounds of protein sitting in the gut right now and i can tell you what eat till you're full bro and you will still stay fucking shredded sick cunt animalistic primal elevated human being it's simple guys two to three meals after your workout light meal before the workout just a bunch of steak steak 
sources, bro, like buffalo, lamb, and cows, bro. Buffalo, lamb, cows. What else? You know, I'm, I'm cutting out sardines for good, bro. Once I finish, because I bought a pack, so I don't want to go, you know, I don't want them to go to waste or whatnot. But I'm also going to, I think oysters are pretty dope, too. Now, here's my methodology. If you go in the ocean, you know, if you if you go for a dip, I think it's okay to eat a fish. I wouldn't I wouldn't do any fish like a like a like a salmon, especially farm raised, bro. That's another discussion, but they're finding that fish actually contain so much microplastics, bro. I'm, wind's doing me so dirty, man. I gotta get a new wig. But, uh, bro, smaller, smaller critters like sardines is straight because they don't have a, as long as a life. So they're not really getting those plastics like a tuna or some or a salmon would have. So if you're going for a swim, that's like primal shit. Your body's like, all right, I'm in the water. So yeah, I think your body like becomes acquaintance, like your gut could like handle it. But for the most part, I live like I'm living on a farm. I'm out here just getting this prime UV. I can tell you what, bro, that pound of bison got me feeling like a fucking bison, bro. It's like an animal ape. Let's go.